We are backstage with the We Are team. Hi, Voss. Hi. Hi. Fatos and Glenn. How do you feel just right now, some minutes before starting the show? Uh, very excited. Very excited. Yes. What about you, Fatos? Prepared. You are prepared? Yeah. Talking about preparation, so what was your process? Well, when we started looking at fashion and what's going on in the world, we came up with a full circle collection because everything that's happening comes back. You learn from that and you grow. Yes. You leave it where it is and it just proceeds. So it sounds and very interesting. So yes. what will be your color inspiration inside of this circle? Now we uh, look the color wheel and uh, we bring colors together to give them a different character. Yes. And uh, we will show that uh, in, in a the show. Yeah. Yeah. So I will say, let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from Amsterdam, please welcome We Are. Welcome everyone, my name is Fatos, um, this is Glenn and we are We Are. We are going to present our full circle collection here today. My name is Glenn and it's our great, great pleasure to be here today and to tell you about our inspiration and how we got here. Our models, Leonie and Whitney, are going to sit down with us and we are going to do a restyling on them.
So when we started our Full Circle quest, uh, collection, we asked ourselves, what do we want, that, what do we want to achieve, what are we missing in our lives? And we saw that we actually don't miss anything, and that's our inspiration, our starting point, contrasts that complement each other or make each other even stronger. We also thought about the things we forgot about, and we forgot that we already have them. So our collection is about contrasts and opposites. And um, Fatos started to work on the colors for that, the colors for our collection. What did you do exactly, Fatos? Now, to make it um, full circle. So when I first heard full circle, I immediately thought of colors, colors that are opposites. Opposites. And I wanted to give more character to these colors. I wanted to combine colder and warmer colors. I wanted to go into different shades and characters. Because that's how we can highlight the character of a color. Here for Leonie, I used a shine line as a full circle. And a clear... I um, chose copper as a color for Leonie. Leonie is a very, very cheerful person. She wants to be seen. And so we can see that her character is highlighted by her style. It was great working on her because when we talked about her style, we noticed that over the past years we've missed being together and that has inspired us to combine character traits and colors and create a new color from that combination. So when we worked together, Fatos, I noticed that you've been inspired by different colors and you said that you want to use a pastel yellow and show that that's possible even with dyed blonde hair, that you can even use yellow. So for one and a half days we discussed this and... It was quite funny how long we talked about this and discussed this when, in the end, the result was quite easy. We used uh, colorants and add pure pigments, and then we were surprised to see how easy it was. I think we forgot where we came from. We have so much knowledge and we forgot how to use it. And you also said, Fatos, that we think in a way too complicated manner. We need to use our strength. And Glenn, you are very comfortable when it comes to hairstyling, aren't you? And what... What kind of textures did you use in the Full Circle collection? As you can see, I used Whitney's natural texture. And you gave her this green color. And I saw that I can uh, work with this contrast. I used the green parts and I curled them using my um, curling iron so that... I can highlight these green parts of her hair. Whitney is a sparkling personality. And I think we should highlight her personality. And that's what I did by using this color and this hairstyle. And Whitney herself told me that that's who she is, that's how she feels comfortable. And isn't it the most important thing that people feel comfortable with their own texture, with their hairstyle, and that they can work with their own texture? And that's what we wanted to contribute when we heard that we were able to participate in this show. We wanted to use natural colors and shades and yet enrich our models' personalities. Because that's amazing when you can achieve that for someone. For me, it was also important to use the complementary colors on our other model, Jojo. She has this violet color in her fringe, and then we had the other colors. 
This actually highlighted her skin. She looked more fresh and felt more comfortable. I also like to use these things, elastic bands, for example. I use it to tie the hair and I um, wow, tie a little ribbon here and then I also use small hairpins in order to secure this a bit. So we used this full circle on all our models, also when it came to color. So we used different circles, longer circles, oval circles. And we can see how these colors melt into one another in a blending effect. We also play with contrasts, and it doesn't matter whether you see these colors as warm or cold colors. It's also about the mixture. This way, the colors highlight each other and are elevated to a new level. So we can perfectly th see this here with Leonie's hair. We can see how the color melts into her, into the ends of her hair. So going full circle also means that our customers um, change constantly. So as hairstylists, we have to make our customers feel comfortable with who they are and with how we treat their hair. They have to be able to be themselves. Sometimes they may get promoted in their job, for example, and they may opt for a more conservative hairstyle and darker colors. And then at some point they feel more comfortable in their new position and we can opt for a more cheerful uh, hairstyle again and um, they can be their own personality again among their colleagues. So we've been inspired by what our customers want, for example, darker colors or more neutral colors. At the same time, it's great to be able to highlight their character. So we can make them feel comfortable. When I started to work with Whitney, she told me that she loves to be on stage, that she loves to be seen, and I asked her, how far can I go? And she told me just to do whatever I wanted. And that's just great. If you have a customer, client or model, who really trusts you, and, you, and then you can really go full circle. So you can use her texture to give her her own personality. We sometimes tend to forget how far we can go when our, our customers agree. Leonie is a very cheerful, happy person and she likes to be seen. So it's important to choose something that matches her skin color, the color of her eyes and something that makes her feel comfortable. It's also important to keep that in mind. So looking at the details, we also have to uh, ask ourselves how to deal with the shape of the face, how can we strengthen the personality, how can I show who this person is. How can I give their full circle to them? And how can I meet their needs so that they can grow personally? So this has really inspired us not to go too far, not to think in a too complicated way, because the simple things can be very beautiful. Over the past two years, because of the pandemic, we have missed being together and feeling good together. And it doesn't have to be difficult to find inspiration. You can very easily create a great look.
Ik vind het maken van so textuur, creating textures is very important to me. And over the course of the years, we can see that it's important to come back to your own texture. That's true for our models as well. It's a full circle. Where there is an end, there's a new beginning. Thanks from the We Are team. It was our great pleasure to present our Full Circle collection here today. Thanks for watching and we really hope that you will be able to use your own inspiration to go full circle and continue to work with the products and styles provided by Carl. Thank you.